your throne, do a little daily. Uh, let's fix that. Do a melting bee skin daily just to start things out. Game audio is still a little loud. That should be alright though. stream is without any viewers right now, I'll take this moment to talk to myself a little bit and to anybody that's going to view this in the future. While I, I personally enjoy Nuclear Throne, I think it's a lot of fun. I really like to play it. It's, it's an old game and there isn't much of a market to watch it anymore. And as such, it it more than likely will not be a fixture on this channel. I'll I'll play it here and there just for fun. But it is 90% likely that it will not stick around. And this very well could be my last nuclear throne stream. Unless it's requested, I suppose, that I play more nuclear time. Like I said, more than likely, this is the last time you'll see Nuclear Throne from the Blitz Jacket YouTube channel. And that being said, I'm gonna play for about two hours now, because I just want to get it all out. I enjoy the game. Take this in my, in my stream with nobody else in it to just talk about the future of the It's Jack and YouTube. For any future viewers, at least. Streaming will more than likely continue on this channel, but. There will be tri Twitch coming in the future. Uh, if you've been keeping up with my Tekken videos, you heard the schedule last night. There will more than be, there will more than likely be a Soulsborne stream coming up. If you've been on my Twitter, you've seen the schedule. There's a Bloodborne speedrun schedule for this week, and that'll be streamed on YouTube. Basically what I'd like to do is just use this time to sort of have nuclear thrown in the background as uh, entertainment while I do basically a, a half podcast. It's 
sort of in the same vein of the NLSS, you know, Northern Lion uses Isaac or other games in the background of his NLSS. Use Nuclear Throne for my purposes. Basically, with zero viewers, I can just use this as a time to decompress and not worry about answering questions from chat and just talk to myself effectively. I'm concentrating on this daily. <laughs> I'd like to place high, which isn't very hard to be black with people that still play the dailies. But still, a high place with a melting disc in daily would be pretty nice. saying there there really isn't much of a market for nuclear drone anymore. Uh, Chubby Emu covered the basically the same thing I'm going about saying it is one of his recent videos about nuclear drone. I will play it, but uh, it's not going to be a fixture like Tekken or Skullgirls. Because regardless of my enjoyment of the game, you got to think about the market for the game. If it's not a very popular game, a lot of people aren't going to watch. It's not that Nuclear Throne isn't popular, it's just that it's old enough now that it's, it's sort of seen its shelf life expire. Uh, per se. The, the fan base isn't nearly as active as it used to be. Flambeer stopped releasing updates. And I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a dead game, but it's it's not nearly alive for lack of a, a better term. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cheat my way into Crown of Blood. Uh, nobody's wearing any crowns because they just did it really good to me. Make sure everybody's got the Crown of Blood on. Just my two characters with Crown of Blood, at least. And if you don't know this method, if you... Which, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people know this method by now. It, but if you random into a character with a crown... 
like I'm hoping to do soon. Which for some reason on steroids isn't wearing his crown of blood, I'm gonna have to reset that. <laughs> There we go. Now the crown should be on. And what I'm gonna try and do is random into steroids or rebel. She still isn't wearing her crown. That's good. Huh. Let's just do a, a run starting out with rebel and see if okay, there's the crown. Same with steroids, just to make sure he has the crown on. Okay, and then you want to random into one of them, and then everybody after that character will have that crown on. Say, for example, Crown of Blood, and that's an easier way to get loop crowns on every character rather than having to go all the way to loop with every single one of them. You'll still have to unlock the crown for at least one character, but it saves a lot of time. That's what I like to do. I'd rather do this than loop everybody. If I can manage to unlock Crown Blood on at least one character by the end of this stream, then it will have been a success. And when I say that, I mean one character who doesn't already have it. Preferably, I'd like to get it on Melting, uh, because it's a lot of fun. Crown of Blood Melting is just ridiculously fun. I, I did a couple of Crown of Blood Melting runs last night. Basically, this stream is just gonna be me playing Crown of Blood on random characters for the entirety of the stream and just talking about the state of my channel and my streams where things are gonna go from here. Bad impact risks. If you couldn't tell through my narration, I'm not feeling too well. But I don't want to do another crystal. I don't want to do plant. I don't like plant very much. Golden machine gun isn't too bad. I like to get into a crown vault because my proto chest has a golden assault rifle in it. I'd much rather have that. I'm gonna go rabbit power with strong spirit. It's a dumb choice, but it's a choice I made.
satisfying fun. Especially not on melting. Horror's hard enough as anybody else. But having the throne butt early is good. But basically, um... If you're ever watching any of my streams, my archive streams, I suppose, they are the ones that have been uploaded already, the Tekken streams. Uh, my Steve stream from watching this today or tonight will be last night's stream. There is a link to my Twitter in chat at some point. I'll have my Twitter linked in my description. Welcome to the stream. And on my Twitter you can find detailed stream schedules. Uh, that's where I'll be posting most of my streams, my times, when I'm going to be streaming, what I'll be streaming that day. Nuclear Throne a fixture on this channel. I'm just a little late to the Nuclear Throne party. The game has... I'd say it's effectively seen the end of its lifespan. I, I still need some completion to do, but I'll mostly do that off-stream, I'm sure. likely get my last few bee skins and crowns off stream. But I mean don't expect Nuclear Throne to never show up on my channel again. Because more than likely if I ever decide to do a sort of podcast thing, I'll more than likely use Nuclear Throne. It's the uh, the background noise, uh, if you will. Um, enter the gun. I have Gungeon. I enjoy Gungeon, but I feel like it's compared to something like Nuclear Throne or the Binding of Isaac, it's just kind of boring to watch. Because a lot of the runs in Gungeon, in my opinion, end up feeling the same. A lot of Gungeon is kind of samey, and once you've done all the pasts, your only real option left is to go to Bullet Hill, which really isn't even fun. To me, at least. And there's there's really not much post-game in Gungeon. And maybe if they release another supply drop update, that might change. But in the foreseeable future, I don't see many Gungeon streams coming down, down the pipeline. Yeah, that was pretty close. The big bandit fight was sloppy. Running 3 HP down into the sewers. Yeah, there it is. I'm not too worried about winning in this stream. I'm just kind of playing around. Like right now, I'm probably gonna die. I'm honestly just gonna restart that one. 
I'd like to get melting runs, really. That's what I'm here for. I've been to the IDPD HQ once with Rogue, but I died on the second floor before I could get to the captain. So I've never actually finished IDP IDPD HQ. That was gross. That was bad. I just wasn't feeling that one. Let's see if we can't get to a crown vault and get a golden assault rifle. In my proto chest. Speaking of my proto chest, I need to. I still need to unlock frog. I haven't even messed with frog yet. I've been to mom with a golden weapon, I've just never thought about it. I tend to forget about frog. Maybe I'll stream a frog run, or the frog unlock at least, but... Other than that, I don't expect too many serious nuclear throne streams to be on here anymore stuff like this, just talking over the game, having it on in the background as entertainment. Frog isn't time limited. Frog is, uh, basically, you have to get to mom with a golden weapon, and then you don't have to kill her, but you have to damage her with the gold weapon, and then she dropped the frog pistol, and then you have to put the frog pistol in the proto chest, and then you have to get the frog pistol as a different character. And then if you start with the frog pistol, it'll be gold, and you'll start as frog. And it can be done as any character, and unlike skeleton, frog is unlocked forever as long as you have a golden frog pistol. Whereas, skeleton's more of an annoyance because you have to get skeleton every time you want to play as him. Yeah, Frog is, it's a whole lot of work, and I'm not really looking forward to it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Every, uh, every sub counts. Thank you. I stream Tekken 7 every night at 9 central time, if you ever want to drop by for that. And like I said, my Twitter has, uh... Detailed schedules and whatnot. It's jacket streams, one word, at Twitter. If one of my mods is here, they can send you a link, but neither of my mods are here right now, so. must take on YV. Well, not a must take. Rabbit Paw is a must take. I like Back Muscle though. It's a personal favorite of mine. And we're just gonna go straight to Pizza Sewers. It's a whole lot of rads I missed out on. 
that's what I had about it though. I'll probably hit level 5 down here. And an IVPD chest, that's what I like to see. Yeah. Good. Impact risks I always take. Effectively, it's, it's more damage per shot. Lucky shot is good on my V. Yeah, that is just a straight bullet. Bad dodge. Really enjoyed chicken. I'm, I'm not a, a huge fan of chicken. I'm not saying she's a bad character, she just doesn't strike my fancy, <laughs> as it were. But a as I was saying, there will be some Twitch streams. Those are in the in the works. Once I get my Twitch set back up and get everything switched around over there. And then more than likely the VODs will be coming to YouTube. So don't worry if you're a YouTube exclusive viewer, you'll be able to see the streams from Twitch. Should have dropped the chicken black sword at 1 1. Or the, not the chicken black sword, the chicken sword so I could get the black sword at 1 1. Because the black sword's a whole lot of fun to use. I just wasn't even thinking about it though. I don't really think too much when I play chicken because I don't play her often. She's one of my least favorite mutants. Can if there is one, don't want to leave that behind. Yep, there it is. Flame shotgun's good. It's not great, but it's good. It's not an auto cross. Always take rabbit paw on everybody. Check that 
heavy crossbow is pretty good. I don't have trigger fingers though, so I don't really want it. On a crown of blood and loot both is just honestly a must hit, really, because you can kill a lot of stuff without even using ammo. somewhere. There it is. Okay. we get the golden assault rifle. I'm a big fan of the golden assault rifle. It's probably my favorite gold weapon. Golden splinter gun is the close second. That, that crown guardian was just throwing all kinds of shots out and I was not enjoying it. Well, welcome. Hey, Gag. It's good to see you. Now I've got a mod. Well, that's alright, as long as you can. Well, um, while you're here, go ahead and post a link to my Twitter in chat more time. That way if anybody else comes later, they can see it. I'd appreciate it. If you're still here, at least. Also, yes, Addy did do that that, uh, that thumbnail I posted on Instagram. Make sure to let him know. He's working on a Skullgirls thumbnail for me. I'm hoping he'll have that done by Saturday, but I'm not gonna rush him on it. Uh, well, you've, you've got a job. Save up and get Photoshop back. You know, I mean, it'd be a smart idea, you know. My darkest dungeon thumbnail. Yes, you're allowed to do my darkest dungeon thumbnail. Because I don't have one for darkest dungeon yet. Stopping by, thanks for dropping the Twitter link. Massive epic proportions. Good lord. 
already down to 8 HP. Go hop in the ground vault again, I guess. I don't even know what I put back in. Just a basic assault rifle, I think. Yeah. Should have brought the gold one back. Three flak shots to kill the crown guardian, I think. Without scare, with scary face. Oh, I didn't even notice it had a Chicken. I don't want to play eyes. I'll do more about it. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll until I get somebody with golden assault rifle, and then I'm gonna go put it back in my proto chest. And my next character to get it. The cheesy way rather than trying to get it in loop. Crown of Blood Rogue. Okay. Triple cops. down so the cops stop on this run. Probably not on a crown of blood run to be honest. I can barely get there on a normal run. Good. Didn't even mean to use my portal strike. Still thought I was melting. I tend to do that a lot because I play melting more than anybody. I just hit the left trigger when I go in a portal. If I'm YB, I just waste ammo. This is good. Helping out a lot. Hit level 3 at least. I'm just gonna drop an airstrike on the portal, on the pizza sewers, just to speed dungeon or sewers up, dungeons. Speed dark dungeons up. Shotgun blast to my face. As 
as uh, as sleep cycles would say, Big Daddy Tam, uh, in your face. These early nuclear throwing videos, you would just say that to everything. In your face. That's a lot of fun. If you want to see good nuclear throwing, go watch Tam sleep cycles. modded runs he plays are a lot of fun to watch. The cursed run is a personal favorite of mine. I would never play it, but it looks like a lot of fun. And mutations times 10 is just ridiculous. Why didn't you die? Chubby Emu School is equal to throw. Uh, it might be like the third or fourth rule, but it's a rule nonetheless. The hands of an assassin. Scare your face. Always takes care of your face. A lot of mutation tier lists that I've seen will put scare your face B or A or B tier, but uh, it's S tier to me. I like it a lot. A lot of mutation tier lists will put trigger fingers as one of the only S tiers, and I I can understand it. Trigger fingers is a good mutation. But I would take scarier face or impact risk over it. I suppose as far as mutations go, it's preference. Situational if it really needs to be. If you've only got one HP and Rhino Skin shows up, I'd take Rhino Skin. Trade out the normal one for a grenade launcher because it's better. Uh, I'm gonna take Strong Spirit just so I can get a little further. I'd like to take Impact Risk, but Strong Spirit is almost a necessity. Because, see, that bad damage like that happens to me a lot. I like to take bad damage. Keeps me on my toes. You know, saying bad damage keeps me on my toes is like saying keeping a fox in your hidden house keeps your your chickens on theirs. It's just a bad idea. And it's not a recommended way to handle things. Rebel, I just 
play run and gun. I rarely ever spawn guys. Unless I want to do a stress rebel build, which is a lot of fun. I may just do a stress rebel build if I get stressed. Stress, sharp teeth, gamma guts, scare your face. And trigger figures, I think, is what I usually do on my stress rebel. Because if you play it right, your fire rate will just be ridiculous. We're gonna keep the crossbow. Now that I think about it. And then we're just gonna die. I don't wanna play chicken. I'll play YV. Bullets. Don't know why it gave me energy. I don't have an energy weapon. are looking kind of grim for YV. I don't know why I didn't pull my golden assault rifle out when I hit my ammo box. It was a stupid move. Now I gotta go all the way through one through with the shovel. Wrench. Thank god it's not the shovel. I got a big weapon chest though. quickly. Back to max HP. Things are looking a little less grim. Uh, my patience, that one. Recycle gland isn't bad, but with something like the golden assault rifle, it's not the best. It's much better with the uh, triple machine gun if you're fighting a big target like the three. I don't like to play eyes very much because you don't really have a lot to look forward to. Both his ultras are kind of trash. I guess projectile style is kind of cool if you have the right guns, but a super slugger with projectile style is pretty cool. Slugger on one two. That's ridiculous. The assault slugger is not supposed to show up this early. Now I'm 
not complaining about it though. Oh, I am not. I am very happy. I don't care if it's cursed. It's amazing that it showed up this early. I, I really should take more often, but I don't. shot as soon as I came around the corner. Um, currently working on setting up a, a Borderlands 2 and more than likely pre-sequel co-op stream with a friend of mine who plays Borderlands. We both play a lot. I'd like to, I'd like to get that done. I really enjoy Borderlands. I'd like to stream it. I don't know if the market for it is still as, as high as it used to be. I mean, with Borderlands 3 confirmed, maybe, but... Just staying tight out here in Rebel Land. Bullets, at least. Okay, did I hit my ammo box? I must have. No? Is there not one in this level? I guess not. Doesn't look like there was a rad can either. Take lucky shot that might help with the ammo situation. I can stop shooting crows with my assault slugger. That's what I like to see. Just start getting those bullets built back up. I want to save some slugs for Big Dog. I can't help but think that ammo wouldn't be such a problem if I had impact wrists.
it if you, uh, if you come by and you watch my videos. Number one, let me say I appreciate it. Appreciate you taking time, you taking time out of your day to watch me be bad at video games. It's, it means a lot. But if you come by and watch my videos and you enjoy the Borderlands series, you know, look forward to a uh, handsome collection playthrough. A co op handsome collection playthrough at that. Because that's going to be a lot of fun. That is this early. Getting pretty balls, are gonna throw some discs out. Spitting discs out. Get some big kills with them before I go through the pizza sewers and probably die in the process. And yeah, yeah, I kill myself with a disc. Just did a rogue. Just did a rebel. Just did a rogue. I'll do horror. If I make level ultra, I'm more than likely going to take the one that spawns the portals earlier. I don't remember the name of it. The only one of his ultras I remember the name of is Stalker. And Stalker's not even the good one. Post insurance policy. Come to my channel and you enjoy uh, Soulsborne content. There is some Soulsborne content in the works. Like I said earlier, there's a Bloodborne speedrun on the way this weekend. Now the speedrun itself will be NG plus any percent. There's a full Soulsborne playthrough coming down the line, starting at Dark Souls 1 instead of Demon Souls, because I'm, I'm not a fan of Demon Souls. I didn't enjoy it personally. I'm not disparaging fans of Demon Souls, it's just not my cup of tea. I thought it was kind of boring. And when you get the Dragon Bone Smasher, it's easy. It's very easy with the Dragon Bone Smasher. Soulsborne stream will be a multi-day stream. Probably spend one day with each game. I will be soul duping in Dark Souls 1, so if you're against that, don't watch.
way down here. Okay. Trigger fingers is good. It's especially good on a melee melee build. Take the minigun. And burn some ammo. That's a cursed chest. Laser minigun. If I had laser brain, I would take that. Without laser brain, it's just not. The, the ammo cost isn't worth the damage output. Having the minigun, I would take recycle plan. Uh, now we're gonna trade out the wrench because once you hit. Uh, Once you hit crystal caves, the wrench really isn't worth anything, even if you have scarier face. It loses its luster quite quickly. taking recycle clean earlier, but then I picked up a super cross and golden arrow showed up and it's just a better option. Now it's just uh, maintaining ammo for the super cross. does not look like it's going to be much of a problem. Is that another laser minigun? It is. And a garbage flamethrower. About as useful as a soggy piece of rye bread. That's what I like to see. Take bloodlust. Okay, you're already awake. It's weird that he was already awake. Assault rifle. And I think I'm stuck in here. Yeah, I'm stuck. Well, that was a good run, I guess. Well, it happened. Game's not perfect, and I don't think JW or anybody else at Glambeer is too worried about it anymore. The fan base isn't vocal enough anymore about the problems for them to pay attention.
probably should have took second stomach there. It might have been a better idea. Stressed rogue, but or stress rebel. Rogue. Use those two a lot. But shouldn't because one of them is way easier to play. I say as I lose all my HP immediately. Can't be afraid to take damage. that level. Ground wall, don't really want to go in there. I feel like fighting ground guardians. Although I should have. I need to store this golden assault rifle again. Oh, that's a shit. 
shovel. Curse shovel isn't really worth much. Shovel itself isn't really worth much, I don't think. A lot of people I've seen swear up and down by the shovel, so. I'm gonna take scare of your face. Over a rabbit paw. Might be the wrong idea, but I think scare your face is just better. Love scare your face. That. The faster things die, the less chance they have to hurt me. So I just immediately lose a lot of HP. stuff. Getting that HP back. Let's keep on moving. I, th I thought I still had the crossbow. Whoops. Mistakes were made. Don't patronize me. My own fault. Ah, I'm gonna random until I get melting again. I want melting. I just want to do some melting runs. You're gonna see a lot of this. Is better than Impactress on melting. Melting has a must take the but. Although, I mean, if, if you're watching the stream, you probably played the Clear Throne, so you probably know that. Spirit show up, please. Nope. Okay, I'll take boiling veins though. If I don't take rhino skin, it'll always work. Get him as soon as he dies. We're gonna hit pizza sewers. I like pizza sewers, it's the easiest way to get an extra portal. No rad can that I can see. Want pizza sewers. Rhino skin showed up, never mind. Wrench. 
Stop giving me wrenches. His car exploded. I figured you were alive. Thanks for the present chest, that's big help. I needed that ammo. Can't. Why does this keep happening? I am very unhappy with that. This garbage. Trash. I hate not being able to leave a throne vault. Crown vault. I just want my melting runs. Melting, please. Please. <sighs> Last day before retiring. Oh no, I'm never gonna get melting again. Never mind, I got melting. I almost retried. <laughs> Also, I know skin. Some HP. First bazooka. Kinda wanna take that? I like the bazooka. Ah, well. Second bit. There's 
an argument to be made for taking second stomach there instead. It's really situational. If I had strong spirit, I would have taken second stomach most definitely. Because then one med kit would get me one HP away from getting strong spirit back. Flamethrower is not very good. Sixty-six bullets isn't very good. One hundred twenty-one bullets is ever so slightly better. Bag muscle ought to help that though. So it takes two bolts. Flame shotgun. I think I'm gonna take that. Might be a better option. And there's strong spirit. So let's hope second stomach shows up again. don't have a guardian be awake. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna be able to leave this one. Oh, thank god. Farm these guys for ammo and med kits if I want. Or just get hit and lose my strong spirit, that's fine. Bad play on my part, I just watch the bullet hit me. Did I not? I didn't even store the goldness already. I thought about it, that's what counts, right? Fish. Melting only. Yeah, there we go. Stop giving me shovels. Shovels. Shovels are bad. Without trigger fingers, at least. Two trigger fingers. Speaking of, <laughs> maybe I should have took the shovel. I should have taken. I should have taken the shovel. Pop rifle. What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm not streaming right now, I'm just laying down. This isn't online with one one solid viewer. Let's put some discs out because I'm reckless. Yeah. 
words you won't hear often, in that context at least. We're gonna take scarier face over Rhino skin, then we're gonna take Bloodlust so I can maybe get my strong spirit back if I lose it. Oh, nice disc. Good disc. Every time I think of somebody who, who is, uh, assumes streaming can't be a job, I also go out on a limb and assume that they also think fire is bad. And progress is scary. Taking thrown, but I'd like impact risk, but we're gonna take thrown, but yes, I'm sure neither of them thought the wheel was that good of an idea either. Welcome to the future, old man. Rifle, plasma rifle, I'd probably take. Yes, you're a tech addict. Fire bad. The wheel was a mistake. Mr. Ford is just stirring up trouble with his automobile. Don't you know nothing? If you can't lose a limb or die, it's not a real job.
tag wrists. again that oh oh ha the gold tank killed himself That is. Goodbye, laser rifle. Rest in peace. And now the best ultra in the game. Literally, the best ultra. You cannot tell me there's a better one. Fight you if you tell me there's a better ultra. Brain capacity and health is just the most fun you will ever have. Especially once you loop. Alright, get ready. Field is my Facebook. Look at these minion memes I found, they're so funny. Super flat cannon, taking it. Drop the super cross for it. 
Might be the bad. Uh, might 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 be the wrong idea. I love that shooter figures. Who cares? Ooh, the present box. I'm so happy. Uh, secret pistol's pretty good. Not good enough for the throne fight though. I think I'm pretty kitted out for the throne. It should be all right. As long as I can micromanage well enough. <laughs> Tell how many bullets he wants to put on the screen at once. I'm dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Eh, super flex, not too good against the throne. I think if I'd have kept the super cross and had enough bolts, I would have won that. But super flex, without, with YV, it's a one shot on the throne. If you have thrown butt, and scare your face, I think. But just as a normal character, Super Flag just takes too long to reload to be any good in that fight. Now if I had a Hyper Rifle instead of a Golden Assault Rifle, and I had actually moved properly, yeah, that would have been alright. Can I get Melting again, please? Melting is tired. It was all my fault. I looked at that bullet. I looked it in the face and I said, Hit. mutation in that whole bit. Defo gonna take an assault slugger on one two. Be stupid if I didn't $139? Is that just to get it for like a month? I don't- I think it- it's got a subscription kind of option, don't it? I don't know anything about Photoshop, so... Oh, it's a year? Well, when you put it like that, that's not 
I mean, that's not terrible. I mean, twenty dollars a month is I, I, that's more expensive than most subscriptions will cost you. I'm sure Illustrator is even more expensive, though. I look at subscription services like the Photoshop and YouTube Red and stuff. I like to compare to the cost of like a Netflix subscription. You know, something everybody's got baseline. And I mean, a Netflix subscription is like I don't know what it is now. I think it's less than twenty dollars a month though. I mean, I would go with the prepaid option just because it's less hassle. Unless you don't have an option, unless you have to prepay, in which case, you know. But I mean, a prepaid option in most rental situations is less hassle. It's a little more expensive, but you don't have to worry about making your payments. That's why a lot of uh, rent-to-own places like Rena Center and the like won't let you do a prepaid option. Because they, uh... A lot of their business comes from the, uh, a lot of rent to own places, a lot of their business comes from people who miss their payments. And if you prepay, you can't miss your payments. So. They don't have any control over you for like a year if you prepay. At least that's my assumption. Uh, I don't know about the rental business. And we're getting a little, uh, as Northern Lion would call it, we're getting a little inside baseball, but...
bazooka. Double bazookas. Oh, this is a cursed auto. Oh, jeez. Welcome to hell. That was not good. Oh, we're coming up on two hours, though. I think I'll just knock this run out. We're coming up on two hours, though. I think I'll just knock another melting run out. Then I'm probably gonna get some water and lay back down for a second. Chest and arms are kind of hurting a little bit. It's going to take me 20 minutes to even get to melting again. Just get melting, please. Uh, in about five minutes. Never gonna get another melting run, I guess. Okay, there we go. In about five minutes from now, give or take a few seconds. Just uh, I'll text you when I get done then. mean by that? Hey, you know what, just tell me in like three, text me in like three minutes and we'll talk about it.
Those are good sewers. Those are really good sewers. Rifle's not that good. We're a little over two hours, but I'm just gonna knock this run out. No reason to just quit it now. tuning in and uh, if you like streams like this where I just play a game and don't really pay much attention to it and just talk uh, let me know in the comments and remember to check my Twitter for detailed stream schedules I'll see you tonight <laughs>